Well, you know, also, I want to add, jurisdictions in other parts of the country have also banned this book. So uh, they had public outcry. They, they brought it back. But some folks say that it doesn't belong on the shelves of public libraries. We also wanted to ask what everyone at home thought. I personally haven't read the book, yeah. but I've heard about it. Um, Elizabeth Reed has read the book, and she's also standing by with some of our Facebook feedback. That's right, China. Well, almost everybody on our Facebook page actually is less concerned about the racy content in Fifty Shades of Grey and is more concerned about libraries thinking they need to ban books because of certain content in it. So I thought that was pretty interesting from what we're getting our feedback. Amanda says up here, she says, books are meant to be read. They should have it in stock behind the counter if they're worried about young people reading it. And actually a lot of people agree with her and say there needs to be some sort of age restriction and or just a different section of the library that has these type of books. I agree with Christy down here. She says, keep it in a restricted area, uh, but honestly, after reading Fifty Shades, which is racy, it's not that much worse than the widely available Jackie Collins, etc. And then Andrea, too, she says, what about all those romance novels? Is it because of all the publicity? I mean, come on. So Andrea, which is very right, she's saying, if they're going to ban one romance novel, are they going to ban them all? So John, you took a taste. Or I don't want to say taste. You, you decided to read this book and just try it out. Yeah, I wanted <laughs> to try it out. Now, you've read it, and I, we yeah. were in a, at our editorial meeting yesterday, and yeah. you pretty much I, agreed with me. It gets... Well, yeah, I just disliked the book because I yeah. thought that the characters were just not, I don't know. But yeah. I agreed with Christy. It really isn't that bad when you think about half the other books that you can just pick up at your local grocery store. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me and if they've read it. I personally, when I read it, I was expecting something totally different. So Same Because of here. all of the hype? Same. Is that why? It's the hype. Yeah, yeah I think everyone's it's, saying that it... Like, there's yeah. like five of them on the New York Times bestseller list in the top 100. So you think it's got to be good. But then when yeah. she goes... The, main character goes into this bondage room, I'm there, well, I mean, this is getting a little different than I thought it would be. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> I, it's just not my kind of book. That's all. I don't think it should be censored. Um, this is America. I think whatever book is published should be available. <laughs> Maybe not to everybody, restricted access, but Definitely. Just, you know, having the librarians watching what the kids are trying to check out, right. keeping it in a section where it's right. not readily available, but don't ban everybody because, you know, some people are maybe just curious, like me and John, wanted to see what it was all about. Right. That's the <laughs> maybe smartest thing to do. Maybe I not. agree with both of you. You have to, you know, set some restrictions and then, you know, show, you, show the librarian your ID if that's the case. Or in, yeah, you know, if, you have, if we allow censorship soon, sooner or later, we're going to start burning books. So we don't want that here in America. Very true, John. All right, we want to continue the conversation on our Facebook page. Elizabeth, we have a lot of comments, don't we? We do. We have 20 comments on this. So people are just sounding off, and we want to keep hearing you sound off. So. All right, cool. Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us for uh, that hot topic. We will be right back.